So welcome everybody in, in this demonstration style event. My name is Aaron Ford and I'm learning and development manager here at TechSoup. And I'm also an organizer of Alphabet Soup, which is TechSoup's LGBTQ plus affinity group. Um, next up we have Jessica Hubley who will um, talk a little bit about Story LLP. Jessica is the founder and CEO of Story LLP, which makes software to translate legalese and serve as anyone's lawyer friend. Story LLP uses inclusive user design alongside a proprietary legal issue taxonomy to help clients understand how to choose and use lawyers efficiently, take the right action at the right time to optimize their legal position, and to connect and manage an alliance of rock star female and minority specialist attorneys to ensure a great ROI on legal spending. And Jessica was previously founder and CEO of the nonprofit Annie Cannons, which transforms survivors of human tra tra trafficking and gender based violence into software engineers. And Jessica will demonstrate how Story LLP helps all humans translate legalese and get their legal uh, rights from the start. Again, my name is Jessica Hubley. I spent the last 15 years or so as the primary lawyer to hundreds of startups and also as a serial entrepreneur. Um, and as you hear, I, I also ran a nonprofit. And through that time, I learned a, a key lesson. The kind of founders who are not lucky enough to have lawyer friends who are helping them translate legalese for free are facing way higher costs in money and time. And that includes pro bono, um, as well as much more pain to get their organization off the ground. Uh, and that doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter whether the most talented founders I know or not. The lack of lawyer friends is coming from the same kind of systemic barriers that make it harder for founders to raise funding, get equal opportunity or get equal respect. And this part probably doesn't surprise you, but it might surprise you to hear that historically underrepresented lawyers are facing a strikingly similar problem. So I founded Story LLP to help underestimated lawyers and clients cooperate to get more of what they deserve. Today, our cooperative uh, comprises over almost 600 lawyers at 34 law firms, uh, as well as hundreds of clients, um, our organization and our fiscal sponsor. Um, so to, to quickly frame, today, of the people in this world who could use a lawyer's help for themselves or their business, only about 30% are even trying to reach out to a lawyer. And as a result, really preventable mistakes cost even successful organizations very dearly. Uh, can be millions in legal fees for a for-profit if you're exiting, um, not to mention sort of lowering your purchase price. For a nonprofit, um, this is staff time and headache and sort of precious fun funder dollars uh, that it can't be used to do good. So the platform we created is targeted to help all founders, no matter what kind of organization you found or what your story is, to get your legal right from the start by serving as a friendly legalese translator and a general counsel, even if you don't know what that means yet. Um, and we do that through three types of services. So first we have a free web app, um, which here's a plain language story, uh, can submit uh, through an email form and calculates the kind of legal service you might need, the kind of cost you might expect, and surfaces some affordable alternatives for you. Um, you can opt into more from there. Uh, second, uh, we offer standard services that are designed to be super high quality, but also super affordable, including things like document forms and an automatic general counsel subscription service, which sets organizations up to get legal right from the start more affordably um, and prevents the most common kinds of IP, employment, and governance problems that inexperienced founders might, might make. Um, Third, when our clients need custom help from an actual human lawyer, we are connecting great lawyer from our attorney alliance and sharing in their fees. So clients today are paying uh, significant invoices to these lawyers, but only at the point where they actually benefit from getting a human lawyer's help. Um, this actually relates to a huge market opportunity. Most people look at the legal services market and think it's as big as it's gonna get because it's serving all the people who have money to pay and that's not true. Um, a lot of the people in my life and my time at Annie Cannons who had an opportunity to be incredibly productive members of our society who had huge value to add, didn't have jobs because they hadn't had opportunities. So story is about helping to make opportunities, including opportunities to start companies happen so that we can make a bigger and more equitable legal services market. 
Um, so as uh, the team said, I started off my, uh, my entrepreneurship journey uh, at a nonprofit organization. So I know that actually the kind of challenges that I faced at my nonprofit and the kind of challenges that I'm facing uh, at Story as a for-profit founder, and that those of you who are out there finding different kinds of social enterprises also face, are actually almost all the same. So the kind of solution that we've developed to help for-profit companies works just as well for nonprofits, and that's, uh, that's what we're out to do more of. So... Um, the first thing to know is there are about a million and a half nonprofits in the United States. The software that we will launch in about a month will be able to help all of them find things like employment classification issues um, in the people that they hire, uh, show them litigation risks because nonprofits can be sued just like for-profit companies, particularly for employment claims. What we want to do is actually offer our subscription service um, with a TOMS model uh, where you, uh, if you buy a subscription for your for-profit company, you get to choose a nonprofit, then we'll give a subscription to them too. Um, so we're definitely open to hearing more about, uh, more from folks if, if people are looking for sort of overarching legal help for a nonprofit. And as a nonprofit founder, I know that I often had big law firms that were super fancy offer to do pro bono work for me. And I also would often have, uh, do a ton of work to repair a project outline, have an introductory call here that we are moving forward, be promised an engagement letter and a conflict check, and then never hear from that law firm again. So we understand that if you do have to pay for a lawyer, you might have to pay for a lawyer to get them to work timely. And that's why we built this alliance of super affordable specialists, many of which will discount their rates for nonprofits, but also work on a timely model. In the future, uh, the AI model that we're building to power all of this general counsel service actually remember is meant to help people figure out what lawyer they need and what their context is for free in the end. And that includes over 40 million people living in poverty in the US, including survivors of trafficking and of gender-based violence. Um, but it also includes the same function for legal aid and pro bono attorneys who do this full-time every day, who are specialists and experts in nonprofit needs um, to, to make sure that they can spend less time screening out the clients they can't help and more time actually providing legal services because those lawyers are incredibly precious in this world and exceedingly rare. So what Story wants to use is the same system that we use to screen managed clients for our attorney allies uh, can be used to manage and screen clients for legal aid too. They get therefore 20 to 30% of their budget back because they have to spend zero dollars um, on screening clients that they can't help and on uh, experiencing traumatic stories, both from the client reaching out and the person listening to the story. Uh, we can cut that out of the whole of the whole um, game. Uh, so this is this is our sort of nonprofit initiative. This is what we established our fiscal sponsorship to power. If you want to get involved in what we do, we would adore that. Uh, there are a few different ways we can do that. Um, we are uh, open to equity investment to hire the kind of engineers who have lived experience like the, that of our clients and of our target demographic, meaning they need a salary to work. So we're looking at hiring more people uh, at, at solid market salaries from diverse backgrounds to join our engineering team. Um, we also are happy to help your for-profit, for your social enterprise, or your nonprofit organization as a client. Um, if you are a nonprofit organization or a historically underrepresented founder, we have an option for fiscal sponsorship uh, to have somebody actually donate funds uh, tax deductibly to help you. And I hope that if you have other ideas about how we might work together, or if you run a legal aid pro bono organization, please reach out to me. I would love to be connected and help out. Thanks, everyone.